The current landscape of cryptocurrency mining has undergone a fundamental evolution, shifting from asset-based proof of mining to energy-based proof of mining. Policy regulation has also transitioned from uh, previous regional pilot programs to becoming a key focus of national legislation. In this changing environment, how should new miners correctly invest in Bitcoin mining? How can experienced miners find a safe, reliable, and sustainable investment haven for Bitcoin mining? Hello guys, welcome to Matt Lovin, a channel focused on sharing about cryptocurrency mining. I'm Kervin. Since 2023, Matt Lovin has collaborated to build Bitcoin mining sites in Russia with a total capacity of over 300 megawatts. In this video, I will take you on a tour of one of our 50 megawatts Bitcoin mining sites. <laughs> The location of the site is in the Lovosibirsk region of Russia. With a total electricity load of about 63 megawatts, the mining machines operate at a full load of around 50 megawatts. This site is also the only Bitcoin mining facility in a 5 km radius that has been invested in and constructed by Chinese miners. About 30 meters away from our mining site is a substation with a capacity of 110 kilowatts, and our mining facility enjoys 100% dedicated uh, electricity usage rights. So far, the safety and sustainability of the power supply for the mining site have been reliably ensured. Building a Bitcoin mining facility near a substation has become one of the most popular methods today. As this model not only saves construction costs for the facility, but also enhances the stability of the power supply. However, this construction approach poses a comprehensive challenge for Bitcoin mining companies. The entire mining site employs a modular container solution, with each container safely spaced apart and equipped with thermal insulation devices for hot and cold air. This setup prevents the hot air from the mining machines from recirculation. Additionally, we have raised the foundation of the containers and installed water curtains for secondary cooling of the incoming air. This not only protects the containers from moisture and dampness, but also positively contributes to temperature control within the containers. We have a total of 26 of these 2.5 megawatts transformer cabinets into the entire mining site. The actual power consumption of the mining machines is calculated at um, 80%, which means each transformer cabinet provides 2 megawatts of power. When the site is running at full capacity, it operates at around 50 megawatts. The continuity of the power source from the substation to the site and the stability of the site's electrical equipment are crucial factors supporting the successful development of Metlobans one-click mining project in Russia. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that cryptocurrency mining, especially Bitcoin mining, has undergone a fundamental change. It has transformed from asset-based profile mining to energy-based profile mining. Today, the scale of Bitcoin mining is determined by energy capacity. Currently, leading mining uh, companies around the world are competing to secure energy hubs in various countries, including the Ethiopia, uh, South America, Central Asia, and more. This is not only a reflection of the current reality, but also an important strategy for the future of Bitcoin mining. After all, uh, Bitcoin mining is fundamentally a battle for the hash rate, and energy value is a skin to supplies for the army. Before the battle begins, the supplies must be secured. And then let's see the inside of the containers, which are uh, filled with uh, Bitcoin mining machines, participating in our client's one-click mining project. The um, M60, 176 terahash models account for about 80%, while the remaining 20% uh, consists of uh, M50, 120 terahash models. The entire mining site includes around uh, 300 single-row cabinets and uh, approximately 500 double-row cabinets. Each mining machine window is designed with one ceiling to prevent hot air from the recirculating and affecting the operation of the machines. Then we have the maintenance department of our mining site. There are a total of three maintenance departments with uh, 10 technicians on site, working shifts uh, 24-7. In the event of any issues with the machines, we can perform timely repairs within 24 hours, ensuring that our clients' mining profits do not experience any interruptions. Additionally, for new clients of the uh, one-click mining project, if any problems arise within the mining machines within 15 days, we will replace them directly 
correctly without making the client wait for 24 hours of repairs. After all, uh, every minute counts in Bitcoin mining. And so now, the damage rate of our mining machines is also below 2%. What you are seeing now is the control room of our mine site, which is the core area of the entire facility. It features 24-7 uh, surveillance with no blind spots, temperature anomaly uh, alarms, and intelligent remote uh, fire prevention equipment. If any suspicious targets or emergency arise, the Russian soldiers are ready to respond. This is the mining machine monitoring system. Every machine operating at the site is monitored by maintenance personnel 24-7 uh, uh, on the screen. If there are are any issues with hash rate or power supply, the maintenance team will immediately conduct inspections and adjustments. This row of blue buildings is where the maintenance personnel of the mining sites reside. It includes the rest area, living area, office area, and security area. The site staff are on site during work hours, ensuring the continuous and stable operation of the mining facility by 24-7. Additionally, our mining site has a distinctive feature. Inspection is uh, prioritized with repairs and uh, uh, supplement. The maintenance personnel regularly use uh, thermal infrared cameras to conduct temperature inspections on each piece of equipment. If any temperature uh, anomalies are detected, they intervene proactively to prevent accidents before they occur. So the question arises, for new miners looking to enter the industry, how should they correctly invest in Bitcoin mining? In fact, Bitcoin money has undergone a fundamental change. It's no longer the wild era of the past. The age of processing has arrived. The payback period is no longer the sole parameter supporting miners' continued progress. For new miners, uh, Bitcoin money can be understood as a form of a decentralized investment. I believe that uh, ensuring asset security is the um, prerequisite for making any investment decision. And then uh, estimating future profitability can help assess whether their investment decisions align with their expectations. Currently, the era of Bitcoin money no longer offers the legendary of getting rich overnight scenarios. The wider days are over. It has shifted from short-term speculation to long-term asset investment. This requires more focus on cash flow management and a belief in virtual currencies. For new miners participating in Bitcoin mining, they should consider whether their suppliers are qualified, whether the site is secure, whether their assets can be protected, and whether their cash flow management can support long-term Bitcoin money investments. So how can experienced miners find a safe, reliable, and sustainable investment haven for Bitcoin mining? For seasoned miners, the availability of mining energy is a key factor in determining whether they can continue their operations. Globally, different countries have various types of energy sources, including coal, hydroelectric, and renewable energy. The energy systems uh, also differ, with both public and private sources available. Additionally, energy costs vary significantly. In some third world countries, electricity is so cheap that it raises doubts about its legitimacy. While in the USA, electricity costs are super high, there are even cases of free black market electricity which poses risks if assets are not adequately protected. How can miners feel secure investing valuable Bitcoin mining equipment in such places? Melobe has previously released a video discussing scams related to Bitcoin mining, and interested viewers can check it out. Therefore, I recommend that for experienced miners, the cost of quality energy is essential for the survival of their money operations. If their oven energy sources or uh, facilities cannot meet their uh, money needs, they can consider changing their approach to Bitcoin mining by utilizing one-click mining projects that provide a one-stop solution for money issues. This uh, eliminates the need to deal with uh, sourcing money machines, transportation, customs duties, and ongoing maintenance. It's no longer uh, practical to stick to the a traditional self-money model, as most of uh, legitimate energy hubs have already been captured by major mining companies, miners should uh, pay close attention to public -like housing projects offered by well-known mining companies. Currently, the site introduced in the video is exclusively for one-click mining project. Melbourne is also planning to expand its Bitcoin mining facilities. By 2025, we aim to achieve full capacity operation of 300 megawatts in the site. The project will also expand to locations in Middle East, Ethiopia, 
uh, South America and other areas. Of course, if you, the viewer, have uh, other type of machines that require hosting service, feel free to send us an email through our homepage to get in touch. All right, in this video, we introduced our money site in Russia. Additionally, 2KLs uh, collaborating with us has arrived in Russia and provided insights about the facility. I've included the links to KOLs in the video description so interested miners can contact us for more information. I'm Kervin, see you next time. Bye.